Tyler. Get to ready. read this oh. since you're the guest. He, he can't see it. Why did he, 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 he I, I'm, I'm pointing. I don't know why I'm pointing. Maybe you can get it. In the, you know, all like, Lego games? You know what I mean? Like, all Lego games have funky things about them. We still have so much more to talk oh, about with this story. We got plenty to talk about. Oh, we have so much to talk about. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the What? I didn't know right, if he stopped. Good. Okay, good. I, I think, I, think I got that. Clap, clap. Go ahead, clap. Yeah, we're, we're ready, Brian. I don't, I don't know if you know this or not, oh, but no, we're ready. You can't talk over the clap. <laughs> Bye, Brian. I don't... Thank you. <laughs> we'll use that one. Uh, okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lost in Thought podcast. And I say welcome back to some of us because it looks like Brian has been here Woo. this entire time because he's wearing the same shirt for three <laughs> He's also in the same seat. <laughs> Third podcast in a row. Oh my goodness, Brian, do you ever do laundry? Yeah, like, I wash going? this shirt. That's why I'm wearing it again. Three oh, times. times in a row. I mean, we recorded back to back to back. You know <laughs> I mean? Or I guess we recorded back to back and now this one a week later, but yeah. I, I don't know, man. Don't uh, know. Anyways. It's my podcast shirt. <laughs> so we had a little bit of an interest. Uh, we always have interesting conversations beforehand that we probably shouldn't disclose here. But one of them that I'm going to go ahead and talk about before we jump into our main topic for today, and that's going to be your guys' idea for what was it called, Nacho Palace? Like you want to <laughs> <laughs> weigh in the on that? The Nacho Palace. The Nacho, Nacho Palace. Pa- Nacho it's pa- not yours. It's ours. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> I said you guys. I didn't say us. I said we were talking about before, and the idea it's you guys Nacho Palace. <laughs> yeah, Nacho Palace. <laughs> no. I understand completely. It's not mine, but I don't want to talk. I want you to talk about Nacho Palace. It's a great idea. No, it's, I know. it's a, it's very simple. Actually, it's nachos, all you can eat, thirteen ninety nine. Jeff, quit emphasizing that it's not mine. I understand that it's your guys'. <laughs> it's going to be no, at sorry, sixty three ninety South Sanders Main Street. No. <laughs> so, believe that part <laughs> out. That's my address. <laughs> But I mean, that's where you guys going to start it up, right? So, so what's your idea for this? How are you, how are you guys going to? What's your business model in terms of how are you going to get people in your door? <laughs> Hopefully, nachos get them in the door. I mean, well, but I mean, I we've know got other s- places serve nachos. But what, what's True. distinguishing we, distinguishing you above the other non-existent nacho the, places? The, <laughs> the thing that distinguishes us against all the other nacho places, all of them, um, <laughs> yeah, is one: it's unlimited. Ooh. Unlimited and, and nachos. Unlimited nachos, unlimited time limit. Okay. Okay. As long as you want. I mean, during the hours we're open. Yeah. <laughs> you can't <laughs> like you can't stay fast closed. But that's dedication. I don't know. Maybe you make a special exception if somebody's yeah, eating true, nachos. If somebody's so eating that, that many nachos. So we're open from twelve to two every day. <laughs> <laughs> so you have all plenty of time. Stay, stay as long as, as you, you want. want. <laughs> But Brian, you have a pretty interesting story about how unlimited, you know, how there's there's some fast food chains in particular that, that advertise <laughs> unlimited. Oh, yeah. Yeah. unlimited. Yeah, they're and not speci- always unlimited. Specifically, yeah. uh, Applebee's used to uh, Applebee's, advertise yep. as unlimited. Good times. We're trying to stop apps. that stigma with our business idea. <laughs> yeah. Ours is truly unlimited. <laughs> Brian, don't you have an interesting yes, story regarding that? So though? we went on a trip. It was me. And Burris, who's not been on the podcast, but I believe he's been on the gaming streams. Should probably maybe. have him on. A yeah, we should probably get him in here. Yeah, but we had it was me and Burris, and some other people were there too. I think Sean might have been there. Sean's been multiple times with me, so I'm gonna assume he was there. That's a old... that's a big group of boys. That's a lot of boy. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of. Uh, I don't really know hum- how to take that. That's a lot of men uh, at it's once, a lot all of together in the same spot. In the I same a, spot. A lot of human. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but we we went to Applebee's. It was it was all you can eat wings is what they advertised. It it's was what they said. It's what they said. It's not just wings though. It's right. It's well. I mean, it's part of the appetizer. Yeah, like yeah, you could list. order. It was, there you was a couple order. things. We went for the wings. Next, but you went yeah. for the wings specific. Okay. Yeah, and so we went, and it was like it was like 15, 16 bucks, and it's unlimited wings. And they bring them to you. Your first one, you get like 10 or something, and then they bring them to you like five at a time and refills, and you just ask them. And so we found out that they are, in fact, not unlimited. <laughs> After we had been there for probably a little over an hour, and Burris had eaten 60. 
<laughs> and then I had eaten probably 40. <laughs> and so between the two and of I us. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> between the two of us, we'd eaten a whole lot of wings. <laughs> and they said, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> I mean, that's that's got to be like some false advertisement right there. Like, that's going to be some. You, have, you may have some legal grounds here, yeah, Brian. You I don't know if you the fine True. print. <laughs> probably. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they couldn't have actually kicked us out. Like, we would have just sit there. But when they ask us, we're like, That sounds like discrimination to you. To your type of person. That's true. You people. I think you have some his type of people. His type of people. Whatever that means. I think you have some legal grounds here to potentially retaliate against Applebee. I don't know. Yeah, we said that. We, uh,. The reason we did leave is because Burris wasn't going to leave. He was ready to keep eating. But I'm like, <laughs> Burris, surprising. we got a movie in like 20 some minutes. Like we should probably just go anyway. Mm. And so the reason that we were able to just leave and like we were all just okay with it was because Burris asked for a to-go container. And the lady's like, <laughs> the lady's like, no, we can't do to-go containers for... Uh, unlimited, unlimited apps, apps. Yeah. and he's like then I'm gonna stay here and eat and she's like I'll get you a to go container oh uh, that's awesome way to hold your ground so yeah. she got him a good to go container of like 10 more wings and then we left <laughs> overcoming <laughs> discrimination yeah. persevering through adversity never Wait, like <laughs> anyone put you, you down. down that's right that was the second most wings I've the ever eaten the only thing you're gonna be putting down is those wings baby True. <laughs> but anyway so then with Nacho Palace, oh, yeah, that's it's what we're trying to end. Truly, <laughs> all right, with. is is we're we're sick of it. We're sick. Unlimited means unlimited. <laughs> yeah, if if you are there for the in, full two hours, in fact, you know what? <laughs> to go to go, <laughs> things are welcome. Unlimited, and you oh, get okay, it to Jeff, go. I think you're pushing you a little bit too far. Your business models. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> sick of it. <laughs> Okay. This has to stop. <laughs> yeah. Unlimited me. Yeah. Unlimited. To end it. I've never seen Jeff more passionate about anything in my life until this moment. Until unlimited food. <laughs> unlimited places food. that un advertise unlimited food. But realistically, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to get at, we're, we're just a little bit loud, by I'm the sorry. way, for some reason. No, I, that's fine. I don't I'm know. Sorry. For why we're peaking so much. I, I, well, I that's how passionate think, you are yeah. about unlimited food. I think food. we're just actually speaking into our mics like we're supposed to for the first time. We're, we're actually finally, podcasting? We're yeah. actually podcasting. We're here. pod racing. Anyway, though. Wait. Um, but the only issue, I think, in all of what Brian and I have talked about, which was very easy to come up with. <laughs> like it was, it's, not, it's, a, it's a simple concept. I mean, that's how most great ideas, like, how they've come into fruition, right? Just right. A simple thing that like, nobody would ever think about. Like, like Goodwill. We'll take your stuff, stuff and, and make a profit. profit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take your stuff and make money. Thanks, Goodwill has the greatest Goodwill. business model of all time. <laughs> Just give us your stuff and we'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, anyway, though, our, the only challenge we've really ran into is, yeah, we have the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> but we're trying to figure out some kind of dessert nachos. We thought about like the cinnamon nachos. I, right. no, like, yeah, yeah, so like, like the cinnamon sticks at the pizza buffet. We want something kind of similar to well, that you, nacho like form. Fried ice cream, right? Instead of putting it into the actual, you know how they have like the the fried, uh, I don't know, like that. You know, like you have Mexican restaurants, right? Right. You have that, that fried batter or whatever they use to make those those little yeah, shells. They have like you can little... make those in chip form, like yeah, something true. similar to that, but like maybe, maybe you know, cinnamon sugar, think something like that. I just like, wonder, being that small, uh, do you still get it all flaky and airy like that? I'm sure you could. I know there's a it's worth there's, a shot. Yeah, that's there, there's, that is worth a shot. I'm sure. I like I'm, that though. We need to get a culinary expert in here. Do we know any chefs <laughs> around here that can? This is the week we needed a guest that's yeah. a chef. I know, right? For yeah. real. <laughs> Single moms, pitched, where you we at? We could have like, pitched them the Nacho Palace. <laughs> true, that's very true. But I but that's think, really our only barrier to this <laughs> it's it's a, dessert, it's dessert, dessert item. Yeah, I mean, you could even definitely not any other. I mean, I'm sure aspect I'm just, of starting a business. <laughs> no, I'm sure no, we'll no. figure all that out. That's easy. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> not in the slightest. We're businessmen, and we make business decisions. <laughs> yeah. so I think we got the Nacho that Palace pretty bad. brought to you by Lost in Thought. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, it, we, we could make it exclusive, right? To make, you know, like guys chicken or whatever. I think that yeah. would be probably the best. Yeah. Like keep it local or something like that. Just to, yeah. 
you know. Have you looked something. how much it is to start a guy's a chicken, chicken guy? guy franchise compared to like a Chick Fil A? Yeah, probably it's absurd. way more expensive. Absurd. I mean, name brand. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Chick Fil A's name brand, but it's like yeah. literally guy, guy fieri. fieri. Like Chick Fil A, like they they like help you with the franchise fee. Guy Fieri, it's like, yeah, 100 grand up front. <laughs> Figure like, it out. It's like, what? And it's like, yeah, and you have to build it. Good luck. It's like, what? <laughs> what okay, Chick fil A, the, it's, like, it's like 10 grand, right? Or yeah, it it's, it's super barely. Cheap. I don't know what it used Steak to be. Steak and Chick is like 15 grand. Really? I know they're like, it's probably more. Dang. Than, but it's like, Ingrid, I know Chicken Guy isn't 100 grand, but it's like up of 50. I know that. Yeah. It's crazy. Make Steak and Shake great again. Dang it. Ste- it's a shame what's happened to that place. Listen, I figured out what happened there. Okay. I can explain it. <laughs> All right, let's hear what you have to Here's say. Here's what happened. So I, a, I think I have a pretty good idea, too. Yeah. I want to hear yours first. Pandemic happened. Everybody shifted to, like, how more new restaurants work now in terms of digitizing things. So like that, Chick-fil-A, like, right. pretty much mastered the model. That right. Everyone have, yeah. And so they, tr- they went to a more of a model of that, and then... They decided whenever people came back in that they would have the kiosks, right? That you just yeah. order at and then sit down. See, that's but that's not why people go to Steak and Shake. Yeah, that's not they don't it. Work no, yeah. what you were Steak and Shake specifically just them would have done better to revert back, back to their to the old 100% business model. Hundred percent. You're. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, because yeah. people typically if you're you. You're going to Steak and Shake for the fast food while still sitting down. Right. Yep. That's, that's the, the whole most, point. That's the whole point in getting that atmosphere, that vibe, right, of a diner. I can't think an of one time diner. that I've ever been through a Steak and Shake drive through I know. I, I think the only time that I went was... Was maybe last for time a milkshake? We right. We, yeah. we, 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 got, we grabbed Eric. milkshake. Oh, we yeah, those, that's right. Those, uh, what we call them, shizzies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because Eric was calling them blizzies, and I'm like, well, I don't really feel like going to... To DQ, DQ yeah. and maybe it was close, or they didn't. I don't know because it was the one. The that was line close. was super long, line right? Super it's all the way out the road, so, like it always like, is. We yeah. may not get a blizzy, but we'll go get a shizzy right now, Eric. If you want to, <laughs> <laughs> so we went to steak and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, well, I agree with you one hundred percent, Jeff. It's just because that's the reason why he went to steak and shake is for the yeah. cheap fast food and to get it while sitting down and getting that diner feel. Yeah. Whereas you know, if you're going to places like McDonald's or or Chick Fil A, it's usually you're just trying to get through and get something quick to eat. But. Exactly. The Nacho Palace will have the best of both worlds. Whoa. Fast whoa. food? No, no, All no, you no. could eat. No, really. no, just no, keep going. Nacho no Palace has food. no drive through Not fast food. No, no. Our no no drive through for Nacho Palace. Just drive through And we'll have, it'll be, you know, it's obviously Dude. quick because you can serve yourself. Imagine it'll be there, accessible dr- to you. Right. But also, it won't have the dumb kiosk. Imagine or having I, having a drive through buffet. I guess oh, right. <laughs> I guess we could do a drive through and it's there's only one meal. <laughs> it's not nachos. It's nachos. <laughs> but but it's just like seven ninety nine is just a box of nachos. You want number you want the number one? That, that's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's number your only two. option. You just have a, like those massive boards, you know. But like, you number it the number two or something. Like, oh, that's yeah, true. You, you have it it's the, the only you one. Get one number four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. But it's like those big boards, right? That have all the options on there. It's Except just there's just one, one that says number two, and it's like right dead in the center. <laughs> My thing. Or it's like off in a corner or something. Yeah. Like that. My thing is like I read the menu and I figure out what I want. And specifically, just for reference, I'm at Burger King during this interaction. And I was like, yeah, I'll have a number nine. I just want ketchup and cheese on the burger. And he's like, oh, what you're actually wanting is a number seven. No, don't tell me what I and actually I was, want. I was like, I looked at it. <laughs> I, looked I looked right there. I know what I want. It's a number nine, ketchup and cheese. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're wrong. It's a number seven. <laughs> What's that even, actually, what does even matter? Actually. It's like, how? What are you talking about? Like, was the number nine... Was it more expensive than number seven, or was it vice versa, or was he trying to save you some money? I, I or think he, he just was trying to save me some money, but I did. I I was looking at it, <laughs> and I couldn't tell what the difference was. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> oh. so I don't get it. But I think one thing you have to have at least, you know, the illusion of options. You, you can't have too many. It's like you know the psychological, like the you know for marketing principle. You can't have mm-hmm. so many options that you're overwhelmed. But you also right. have. You can't just have one where you feel like you don't have. Any choice in the matter? Yeah. So, yeah. like, 
So how how, how are you gonna like you know if you have that drive through and you only have your one option you get you get to maybe you maybe put you up can... a second option but we're always out of the second. <laughs> that, option. That's exactly that's... what I was going with that. <laughs> so that you have work. the options, but you could be like, oh, sorry, we're we're, we're out. out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like something completely so get, different too. It's like it's a like burger. A, yeah, it's a like a half dog. pound burger. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a... something crazy. <laughs> like yeah, sorry, we're at a ground beef patties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I have the ultra mac daddy cheese? Please? Just make it on us. Make so, it something, something so absurd and super cool. So you still get the psychological aspect of it. So people are still coming because you have options, but you don't actually we have to buy it. never have that. Because you never have it. Dude, there was something. So it's the best of both worlds. You don't have to pay for it. And you actually trick people into thinking they have more options than what they do. <laughs> there was something. So they come to your place. Business. It's, it's great. I was at Dairy Queen the other day. There's something on their menu that has the most absurd name I've ever seen. <laughs> and I, I'm, a, I'm looking it up right now so I can tell you guys. Was it the Dairy Queen in Bloomington? Um, or did you drive to? What I just, what I just let's just do this out here. Uh, we are marketing geniuses. I don't know. I just, yeah, for real. We're actually backing up the claim that we don't need any uh, business help whatsoever to start this up and coming project. We just need a chef to tell us how to cook things. <laughs> just to tell us how to. We need somebody to cook the food cook for the food. us, please. Maybe. Otherwise, this is a great idea. Maybe it's specific. It was in the Lagodi one. Oh, really? Uh, why were you in Lagodi? Oh, yeah. you went down there for the yeah hospital. The hospital or doctor appointment, whatever. It was. <laughs> what kind of bootleg hospital are they running? Yeah, they had. Maddie was like, "Yeah, order me a medium summertime sunset twisty misty." <laughs> What on and, and I just looked at her and I was like, I don't even know what that is. And so, and like, I had, like, had to repeat it like six times because, like, I got to remember all these words. <laughs> That's like an orgy place at a strip club. <laughs> it's so like, you, yeah, I'll take this. So, yeah, what was that so, so I was like, I told them, well, first I was like, oh, it was a small uh, Reese's Cup blizzard. <laughs> that was for me and then, and then I said yeah can I have a medium summertime sunset twisty misty and then they're like oh the summertime sunset twisty misties were all out <laughs> was, the summer set. okay and then Maddie was like well I don't want anything <laughs> that's all I wanted yeah. that's the only thing I wanted there's so right. many jokes I want to say right now <laughs> that I'm just summer. going to <laughs> oh. twisty misty, misty. Like your finest twisty missing no. wink. <laughs> so, going back to the Nacho Palace then, <laughs> and the drive-through. So what I'm thinking is, you just get a box. It's like seven ninety nine. Mm. What if we put it in a bucket? Just, just a box. A bucket. A nacho bucket. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's like the it's like the you popcorn. Pay extra like you, for the bucket. So you pay extra one time fee for the bucket. <laughs> for the bucket. Thirty, yeah, $30. It's cheaper every time you bring the bucket back. But you bring it back, then you well, you, you get discount like like they do at movie like theaters. Like the movie theater yeah, popcorn exactly. bucket. And so you have to you know obviously you, and then you don't have to worry Gosh. about uh, what, extra like spending extra finances on buying an absurd amount of buckets. True. Yeah, you true. Can have, you, then there's less dishes. They bring too. their own bucket back. They bring their own bucket back. Redo and we're saving the world. Restart reduce, every reuse, year. recycle. That's right? true. Restart it every year, and you make we're a doing them a all favor. We're, doing them, we're being progressive here. <laughs> we're doing them a favor. <laughs> that uh, is, but yeah. So, like, you can do you know, first the, time the most American bucket. things <laughs> I've ever heard. And we're like, hey, we're and it'll be biodegradable. It's like, man, oh, uh, yeah. how like at that. Uh, the next step is like, you know, can we just get them to eat out of troughs? <laughs> See what we can just do. Go, like I said, and that's where, that's where the buffet drive through comes in. You just have a massive trough that people drive up to. So messed up. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would eat at that place every day. I would probably die from some or probably. some other. It would be awesome, though. Or just some other bacterial disease maybe not necessarily salmonella because unless you're doing some chicken nachos i guess or, or pork nachos or, are, we, are we gonna offer like different varieties of yes meals? Oh, yeah. yeah there'll be all, all the of those options. Okay, okay, okay. so yeah there'll be pork there'll be chicken there'll be beef and then i mean what i don't even know what uh, the <laughs> alternative would be a i'm bison? sure we'll have an alternative have a bison thing. oh like, you got the vegan option yeah, the vegan like, option. i don't know what it even is but i'm Plastic. <laughs> like, I don't know what this is, but I'm putting it in my body right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, whatever it is. Whatever the, the, the wonder option. meat. Or whatever <laughs> it is. The impossible meat. Yeah. Yeah, impossible. That's yeah. what I was trying to think yeah. of. The impossible meat. Yeah. <laughs> what do they put in? I know it's a lot of it's plant based, some of it's soy, 
but I don't even know. It's I guess it's impossible. I don't. I don't. I was going to go. It's impossible to know. So Shut I actually, up. when the impossible, <laughs> like when that was becoming a big fad, like back in, I don't know how uh, how long ago it was. It was right before COVID or whatever. Yeah. When Burger King was starting to advertise the Impossible yeah. Burger, they actually in college, my roommate accidentally ordered one of them, and he's like, "I don't want this." So I'm like, I'll, yeah. "I'll go ahead and try it." And lo and behold, it was actually pretty good. Like it wasn't. You know, you could definitely tell the difference, but I'm like, I, I mean, I would, I could get another one. Not, right. I mean, first off, it was Burger King. I don't know why he's ordering Burger King. Well, what kind of lunatic are you? That's true. To be ordering Burger King out of the, all the other fast food options. Yeah. But I ordered yeah, Burger ex- King because I had a deal there last week. I had like a re- Brian, offer. Brian, why are you a sociopath? Like I had, I, was- a reward, I had a rewards offer, so I ordered it, and then I ordered it to the one by Jeff's house. So I had to drive all the way from. <laughs> now it's not even worth it. I was yeah. at the mall, and the Burger King is at the mall. And yeah. so I'm like, oh, yep. just drive over here and get it. And then I ordered it to Jeff's house. I'm like, well, now I got to drive all the way to Jeff's house. <laughs> no, are, are you gonna guys? Are you gonna deliver? Like, is that gonna be an option? Like, if you're gonna have a drive through, we're gonna. Uh, I mean, DoorDash or deliver. I mean, again, the issue that the, what people are gonna have to understand. <laughs> okay, you gotta. Come I'm already get getting sick nachos. of it just thinking about it. It is not unlimited through the drive through It's seven ninety nine. You get just a trough you, or you, whatever. You're preemptively <laughs> yelling at them because you know there's going to be some angry customers yeah. coming in. They're like, well, like, I thought this was unlimited. Yeah. No. No. So Jeff, just get out of the way now. Before yeah. <laughs> It's either we do it that way or we do it nineteen ninety nine through the drive through And like you, like Brian you said, you get, you get a bucket, yeah. right? <laughs> and you can come back to get it at the seven ninety nine in your bucket. See, here's the thing. I think with Up with to you with people who offer nachos, which I, I I don't know if I've ever ordered nachos from anywhere. I mean, maybe one time as an appetizer, but usually they're not. No, nothing is the main entree, right? But I think you should have freedom of choice on your chips. I don't think I've ever seen a restaurant or anything give them freedom of choice. That's fair. With, That's with fair. type of chip like corn tortilla. You know, like get all the different spy. types of chips. I, I, there's like a bunch of different types of chips. The we, first time that somebody mm-hmm. comes in and says like. Uh, no, can I have like a soft shell tortilla? I'll be like, just get out. That's not, <laughs> e- that's not even the point. That's not we're the point. Cl- like, this is we're not closing a the store. Yeah. Get out we're of done. here. We're that done. Not, those aren't nachos. <laughs> it's not a nacho. And even more, they're nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and then kick them out. Yeah. <laughs> they're, not, they're definitely nachos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just hit a button and it's just like... Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Yeah. Air horn, <laughs> but no. The slogan is go. So it's going to be the Nacho Palace, and it's just going to say they're ours. <laughs> <laughs> they're ours. <laughs> Nachos. <laughs> <laughs> but they could it's, be for the low, low price of thirteen. Yeah, yeah. they could be yours. <laughs> thirteen ninety nine, yeah. completely unlimited. <laughs> completely. Then they're also yours. Yeah. Oh man. What a great idea. What a phenomenal idea. Wednesday night, kids eat for regular price. Come on by. <laughs> Come on the by. Christian youth demographic, that's the play. <laughs> Actually, though. That, that's the play, Jeff. You're right. Now, if, those kids are crazy. Now, I think the next thing that takes us to the next level. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Let's man. Let's see. We haven't even started the first level <laughs> yet, but the next level. Well, well, we well we have the indoor figured out mostly now. Now we have the drive through figured out. <laughs> oh, is it the food truck? No, oh, not the food truck. I thought that was but a good But finding idea. a way to cater it uh-huh. in a way that lets the food stay good until it's eaten. That's a Now, that's the million dollar question right, right. there. Right. Yeah. If we could figure yeah. that out, it's over. <laughs> it's over. What if we send chefs there personally to the place that's being catered to and make it? I mean, that would be expensive, right? But I, I think finding an optimal way to—I uh, think that's a enjoy. corporate liability. That, that could be a corporate. Li- <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we are the corporate. Are the corporate. So it's not. <laughs> that's why I'm worried. <laughs> that's why I'm worried. But it's like, I mean. <sighs> Yeah, that 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 is definitely a, you know a lot of of the culinary connoisseurs. <laughs> I mean, are, are trying to figure what I if we say. can figure that out. Say goodbye to KFC for real. It's yeah, over. It's over KFC. <laughs> you Who know, Bob Evans. Any nachos? <laughs> 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 we have chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but Bob Evans did a pretty good job. I mean, someone catered for your. That's true. They did a pretty decent job, but I don't know what they're. 
their method is. What we, I think they we cater need, to the breakfast. Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was good. I think breakfast food is, is one of the exceptions because I think breakfast food in and of itself is just easy to reheat without it losing like the yeah, flavor profile. I think it's part. one of the easier things. For sure. Nachos would be like. It's incredibly difficult because you don't want oh, the chips yeah. to get saucy. Exactly. Saucy. Or, you know, I guess, you know, I mean, catering, you know, I think that may be one of the easier ways to do it, though, is just keep everything separate. And then, I mean, you right. just bring yeah. it, you just br- basically bring, bring the pro- product and, you know, you bring the buffet to them. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think that might be the easiest, easiest method. And so, I mean, you're already constructing your own nachos to begin with, so just True. bring it to them. Right. They it's, construct their I mean, own nachos. But I mean, you think then about like, the movement, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they order the like Chick fil A how many times? Uh, once a month. <laughs> once a month, right? <laughs> yeah. J- Forget them. True. <laughs> Buy local. <laughs> Buy local. <laughs> Buy local. Jeff is trying to market, market to Brian's youth group. Right now. <laughs> hey. I mean, think about it, though. <laughs> they got four weeks. They order food every week. Okay. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I, I think this is the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A lot of, How much does Chick Fil A cost? I have no idea. We'll beat it. <laughs> we'll beat it. We'll beat it. Whatever it costs, we'll do it for less. Yeah. Capitalism, Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jeff. <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll Dude, the beat Arnold Schwarzenegger, it. The term. The, yeah, the arm. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, oh no. But yeah. Okay, Jeff. Brian. I want I, you to- I, I I like this idea. The more and more we talk about idea. it, the more and more I'm like, I'm behind this. It it makes sense. I mean, <laughs> that's all. That's, <laughs> that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's it. You're gonna defend your position or bring context. You know, like <laughs> nope, it makes sense. Logical context, but no, it just makes sense, man. I mean, I, it, I can't dispute that. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's, be- I don't... it's better than my other business idea. Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> which which was. Uh, brought to me by one of my students. Oh, no. <laughs> student, student teaching. Wait, so whose idea was it? I names are not important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's an idea. Okay, all I'm all I'm saying is I had the student. He's very funny. <laughs> he came up to me one day. He's going to the Kelly School of Business. That's all he talked about. Okay, he's very excited. Okay. And that's very cool. One well, of the best business but, schools in the world. True. Yes, and so he asked me. He was like. So, Senior Mayfield. <laughs> so that's just okay. you already know now what kind of person this is. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you, you guys piece it together. Okay, yeah. continue, Jeff. Sorry, <laughs> but no, he just for whatever reason he called both me and Mister Nicholas. He always used Senior. I don't know. He's why. putting that three years of high school Spanish to good use. It's true. Anyway, though, he was like, "So after this, are you going to go get your MBA?" <laughs> after my student teaching, yeah. I, and I was like, "No." <laughs> I'm not. And he was like, he was like, but it only, it's only a two year program. And you kind of, <laughs> I was like, I don't care. I don't want an MBA. And he was like, no, don't you understand? You get your MBA and then you buy all of the local child care centers and you raise the prices. <laughs> and I was like, what? You don't understand. I don't, I don't think you need an MBA for that concept. I think you could just let out do it if you want to, my guy. I, you don't I, even, I was like, I would have to severely question who I am as a person <laughs> to do that to the entire Bloomington populace. See, I don't think you understand. I don't think you're quite getting the picture. The fact that he said you needed an MBA to go do that, that's the funny part. It's I don't like, think well, you need to. I don't think you need You just to. need money. Yeah. I, I think, you're, I think you, you're, you might as well just bypass college, man. I think you got to figure it out. <laughs> But now I'm worried about what's going to happen in a few years when Especially he graduates. Especially for your child. <laughs> yeah. That's on the way. I know. Well, Bloomington prices could spike and you don't know why. Well, I'll be out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. See you, Brian. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Jeff's going away. I don't I'll think be off this enough. podcast here soon. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're losing Only Jeff. got a few weeks. Jeff, you'll still be here. No, I won't. Hey, <laughs> you'll, you'll be, be in the podcast. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Unfortunately, until I'm told to remove myself <laughs> of any affiliation with these individuals, yeah. it's just like our mug shots. I don't like I don't know how they got our mug shots. Yeah. <laughs> don't know why, but it's just us and Brian right. and, it's just, and Tyler just sitting there. It's like, do you have any affiliation with these individuals? No, <laughs> absolutely not. I've never I seen them. I've never seen those <laughs> back and edits all the <laughs> and it's just yeah, just myself just out. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, okay, well, what a great idea. Well, that's that thirty was. minutes. That's of thirty the podcast minutes podcast right there. And so, I don't even know if I want to save our topic for today for next week. So we have a we have a crazy idea for next week, and I hope it comes to fruition. So we went to Joella's today. Which is actually a criminally under, underrated Ooh. chicken place. Yeah, for all two I don't know people if it's that a franchise there. across yeah. America, if it's local, if it's regional. No, it is. Uh, it is other places. I've seen. I've just, yeah. I've just never heard of them before. I mean, I've seen it driving by. Speaking it's nice of, inside too. It's very nice inside. Real there? quick side note: I was driving back from Greensburg. Yeah, there was a Riviera Maya. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Was, and I was like, Wait a second. <laughs> There's supposedly a lot of them by Texas Roadhouses. All That's across, what Maddie was saying. Yeah, yeah. Really? across the country. Yeah. They, they're they owned by the same people. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> so they open them up like right next, next to, to each other. Right. I, want, I mean, I, I, know, place I, slaps. I, know what yeah. I know what they're going for. I know exactly the plan. No, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I understand completely that they're going for the, uh, the, the people right after Sunday service. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, it works. Either go, I mean, they're going to Texas Roadhouse, but then they see Rivera Maya, and they're like, no, oh, that's like, pretty oh, good. We'll get to go yeah. there, too, next Sunday. Yeah. It worked on us. That's exactly why I'm yeah, that's, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how we found it. It's easy. <laughs> it's like after Sunday, where we're going to go eat. Right. Or when we're filling the book. It's like, oh, I'll go to Texas Roadhouse, I guess. I don't know. Cheddar and all that stuff down. And then, of course, Let's meet in the middle. Maya. Let's meet in the middle. <laughs> literally. Right there. I'm like, dang, it works. Um uh, they got us. But anyways, so I think uh, just kind of a, a sneak preview for, I guess it's actually, you know, for the next podcast. What's going to happen? Is, <laughs> so at Joella's, they have, uh, what, six tiers six of hotness? Six heat levels, yeah. yeah. So one is Southern, which is Jeff, too favorite. hot for Jeff. It says Although, quite literally uh, no hot no or heat. no heat. However, I tried uh, I, I, some of <laughs> Jeff's mac and cheese that had... The same, like they put little cra- spicy. They put little cracked pepper <laughs> yeah. in, like everything. They like their fries have yeah. those, the little specks of cracked pepper, yeah. the chicken, the mac and cheese. And I'm like, I- I'm gonna try some of just mac and cheese. I'm gonna see if it's good because one thing, and this is another side tangent, is not very many places get mac and cheese right. No, no, they don't. It's either you like, know what the consistency's not Texas right. Texas Roadhouse. That's true. So terrible. terrible. It's terrible. so bad. It's so, it is horrendous. But this place, it's it's pretty good. Anyway, so I, I got, you know, just this is to defend Jeff because I have a pretty high spice tolerance. So, like, I don't find too many things spicy, but I got a little piece of that cracked pepper in, in Jeff's mac and cheese and it went down the wrong pipe. Messes you and up. It, hurt. it messed me up. And Jeff, I want to apologize Classic. for calling you a pansy <laughs> behind your back to Brian. <laughs> I'm just glad you understand. <laughs> but now I'm like, and it's funny because I joked about it too. I'm like, <laughs> that's literally like, what, well, that's literally what I said and it actually happened to me. I'm like, oh man, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, so I had the hot, which is the the uh, third from the hottest sauce that they, they Fourth, offer. Fourth, right? Well, I mean, it is it is the third. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's two tiers above it. One's the ghost pepper. And then the other one, what is it called again? Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Yeah. And you actually have to sign a waiver. So I right. think, <laughs> and Tyler doesn't know about this, and hopefully he actually shows up. Yeah, true. for real. Next week. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that crack pepper. Yeah. Really yeah, the crack pepper. Festering in my out. stomach. It's starting to coming. sweat a little bit. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Coming back for round two, baby. <laughs> but we're going to uh, procure <laughs> some of that chicken and eat it on the podcast. While we answer questions. While we answer Woo. questions. And so I was going to do these questions for this week. And I was just going to do some, you know, hot seat questions and just kind of get, get our responses. Yeah, I would answer them. But I think maybe we'll try to definitely not copy hot ones but we're not going down the gauntlet we're just, we're just going straight to the heat baby and then trying to answer some hot hot seat questions you know get it hot seat hot ha. chicken it ha. just it's just ha. it's just asking for it the hot chicken seat <laughs> and jeff is going to eat an entire no. chicken tender <laughs> of this of it's southern be crazy. heat maybe <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, would you eat, eat the this? tier above it? Like, if, okay, so would if you we go do it, one would you go one southern tier southern above? Heat. I'm too scared. Just one tier. Just one tier. Just because of the southern, I'm scared to go up. Jeff, it's called <laughs> tweener. It's not even called. I don't, I don't think it's called tweener. I think There the, might be one more before one, tweener. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would too you scared. Just, just like a little, little, little nibble. 
No. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh my good. Just I would for, not. Just for come on, you get one. You would we'll get you some some milk, maybe I don't I don't know. I will I'm eat out. two southern cream. tenders on the podcast <laughs> next time. <laughs> what if we add like a dollop of like Tabasco? Honestly, I don't know if that would make it better. I like just ranch with it. <laughs> You're ridiculous. What if we get like a Chipotle ranch? No, I don't like Chipotle. What if we get like a hot ranch? You just don't like the restaurant. You don't like Chipotle? What's wrong no, with you? No, he hates Chipotle. No, I hate you. I've tried everything. <laughs> everything? It's terrible. <laughs> he doesn't like any terrible. of it. Terrible. I will say out of like Qdoba and like Moe's. I have had Qdoba and I liked it. I, I think Chipotle is the worst, the inferior like of those Moe's. three. Like That's I a like... hot take to a lot of people. Really? Yeah, you a think lot so? of people like Chipotle. I, I, I prefer Qdoba over Moe's, but I think I prefer Moe's over... I've never been to Moe's. I like Moe's. Moe's is pretty nice. I have one memory of going to Moe's. You guys want to hear it? Yes. So I went when I was interning for Sean Bias. Shout out Sean Bias. Shout out Sean. He's in the comments on the gaming stream sometimes. Um, I was interning for him at Odin at the church there. And we were coming up to Bloomington for... Something he had like an appointment. I was like an appointment or something, or we were driving. I don't remember. We came up to Bloomington quite a bit, and so we came up to Bloomington to, uh, as we did when interning, play frisbee golf because that's what you do. That's such a, that's such a youth. Yeah. Yeah. Christian thing to do. Literally. Yeah. So we we got, oh, got the, a story. To we got the discs out. And uh, we had Frankie Dillon with us this week because he was <laughs> Frankie. Baby. He was with Sean that that day, Sheesh. and so we, the three of us, went to go play frisbee golf, and then we were going to go to Moe's after. Makes sense. And as we're the playing, typical progression. So we played. <laughs> we went to two different frisbee golf courses. We played one. No, you know, no big deal. Played a second one, and Frankie and I are walking, and we. St- there was like a hornet's nest in the ground. Oh, no. Nice. And we stepped in the hornet's nest and got stung a couple, or like a few times, and it was miserable. And then we went to Moe's Goodness. while we were all miserable, <laughs> and I ate Moe's, and that's the only time I've ever been to Moe's. Did it, nice. make, it, did it make you feel better, though? Is it, it did. Mean? Moe's was, it, it, it made me forget that I was in pain. I'm pretty sure Moe's, like all the other ones, you get the chips for free. Like you get Moe's a, you do, right? You get the chips yeah. for free. That's one thing. You know, one thing that that's I cool. Know. Whereas like Qdoba I I say, or I don't think Chipotle, you, do it the other you don't get any. Yeah, I think you get. It used to be, I think Qdoba. Get, one of them used to give the guac for free, which I'm a big guacamole fan. It's so not Chipotle, nice. but I know it, that. I, but I don't yeah, think any of them give it, give it for free. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But I, I went know. to get nachos at Chipotle, and I, which I still don't like. First of all, I couldn't even like their nachos. And, and this is why we're, we got to make a, a better, <laughs> yeah, this but is a better I, name for the nachos. But I went the, all the way up there, got. To the thing, like, check out or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I just want the nachos. And they're like, oh, no, sorry. I was like, what are you talking about? There's cheese right there. You got chips right behind it. It's like, Make it's, me some nachos. It's, like it's not that hard. And, and they're like, no, it's for online orders only. I was like, but they're right there. <laughs> what, I can what? see them. Online order? Can, uh, yeah. Well, couldn't you just, like stand right which is there exactly what i did them, right in front of them world. yeah like and i just ordered nachos on my phone and it was like it'll be ready soon and i watched them get the bag get the cheese and put it on the pickup thing right next to me and i picked it up off of could it. you just ask like hey can i have a basket of chips and then some cheese sauce on the side <laughs> no. and then just put a make in front they i bet you could have gotten away with that they would not allow anything they They're said like, no, they said chips and cheese are only for online that customers. Make any sense? <laughs> what does that even like? It's like why? But I'm right uh, here. What benefit? I don't know. Is to only online? I'm, I could see like oh chips and like m- maybe for like a specific deal. Like if you wanted a discount, like oh that's for online orders only, and that's just to promote our online. Right. You know that that right. would make at least somewhat sense. But yeah. when somebody's like, I will give you my money right here, <laughs> please give it right to now me. Yeah. for you to take like. I don't know, 10 to 15 chips, put them in a bowl <laughs> and then put cheese over them. Right. Like, I don't, That's I, you, all you, you, you want, gotta well, do. You know what you can do? You can get it. You can get a, you can get a, get a tortilla, right? Uh, we'll, we'll call it a burrito for your sake. We'll put it, <laughs> crush some chips. Okay. Onto Just, the thing. Uh, on, onto my, <laughs> onto, <laughs> onto my tortilla. Burrito. All right. And then maybe put, you know, put, put some ground beef or something. I don't know if you wanted ground beef or not in your, in your nachos, but 
I would like that. But, you know, like, yeah, okay. But before we put the ground beef, I want you to put the cheese first because, you know, I'm a cheese first kind of guy. Um, take that how you will. So put the cheese on there. Put the queso on it, you know. So you have the tortilla. You have the you have the chips. And you, have the, you have the cheese, right? And then, like, I'll take some ground beef and then whatever toppings you want. Then all you have to do after that is just slide the tortilla <laughs> right from underneath the <laughs> nachos. Nachos, baby. <laughs> it's like... It's like don't roll that up too. By the way, don't don't, don't worry about yeah, rolling that don't up. Don't roll it. <laughs> yeah, I like my burritos. Can I toast that? An open face. Can yeah. I toast? Yeah, toast it, it please. <laughs> Do you want you want to heat it or toast it? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just it was so dumb. It's so dumb. It made no <laughs> sense. <laughs> and I, also, I would have been extremely fickle about. it. I would have been like, all right, all right, fine, fine. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get myself a burrito here. Okay. And then go through the. Their chips are too salty too. I, I agree with that. They most, are pretty salty. Most, most of all, Ma- all three of them are pretty, are pretty salty. I just, I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just sick of it. And I want a nacho place that makes the nachos how I want it. Yeah. And that's why I'm over opening. Yeah. <laughs> In the nacho palace. In the nacho palace. It's ours. <laughs> it's ours. It is ours. Not yours. <laughs> nacho yours. <laughs> Wait, what? Nacho <laughs> yours, is that what you said? <laughs> Have we looked in to trademarking our name for this, by the way? What, the probably Nacho should. Palace? No, no. Uh, podcast. Podcast? Awesome probably time. have it. We better, we better do, do we have do to that. if we're not selling anything? Yet? I think there's... Uh, well, no, no. I, mean, I guess can, we are. As a business model, if somebody could literally come in and take our name and then be You're like... You're right. Hey. Cease and desist. Season, season to season. Stop it. <laughs> they, got, they break it. Someone copyrights it. Just swat through <laughs> your windows. Seize, I insist. <laughs> it's like, ooh, kinky. <laughs> it's like, ooh, ooh, go ahead and cuff me, officer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so threatened right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just wondering because I was thinking about trademarking Nacho Palace like on, well, the, on the drive here. Stone two birds at on once, the and, then, and then I was like, "Oh shoot, I don't think we've trademarked our name." You know what they say: get two birds stoned at once. You know, like it's true. <laughs> get two birds stoned at once. <laughs> what? That's definitely what they say. <laughs> That's what I say. I don't know. <laughs> That's what... Oh man. Oh, uh, it's good stuff. So yeah. Uh, so we'll be ordering very, very hot, uh, hot chicken and <laughs> fire be eating in it on the hole. Fire in the hole and be eating it. On... So I've actually, I've had a ghost pepper before, and I was on the and so my father while they grew ate the ghost pepper. So he grew like serranos, green chilies, uh, jalapenos, habaneros, and ghost peppers, which we had. So I mean, we grew. So many peppers. It was <laughs> absurd. I don't even know where they are now. I, I think we threw them out, but they were in our freezer for the longest time. However, I had the. He fed all the ghost peppers to wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they probably just kill over and die. <laughs> yeah. It's about what happened to me. So, long story yeah. short, kind of a spoiler there, I ate one of these ghost peppers. Well, I actually ate half. I was going to eat the whole thing, but I'm like, ah, I'll start with half and then kind of get a feel for it. <laughs> go and, from there. And go from there. Yeah. And so I ate half of it and grabbed. So you know how peppers are sometimes when they basically have like the core with all the seeds on it. Yeah. Well, when I bit into it, like I grabbed the core and pulled it out with all the seeds, which is probably the hardest part. And then kept like, you know, basically half of it plus like the entire core with the seeds. Yeah. And so I was chewing that. And at first I was like, this isn't that bad. Like, like the first like two or three seconds, I'm like, this isn't as bad as what people make it out to be. Like I, you know, right. in so I'm like These I'm chewing. Yeah, I'm like this is. I mean, I These you know, it, it's like it's hot, but I, it's like I don't know, I'm fine. Well, lo and it's behold, a dry heat. <laughs> it's a dry. It was, heat. it was not a dry heat. So I was. <laughs> I was about to say I was liquidating everywhere, but <laughs> I, I was liquidating. I was doing. I was liquidating my assets while, <laughs> while eating this pepper. And let me tell you, that's a very difficult job to do. While be true, <laughs> no, but yeah, there was a lot of liquids involved, and it mainly involved my saliva and mucus going everywhere because I was I was in shambles. <laughs> so after like that first three seconds, and you know the following like thirty minutes was probably the worst thirty minutes of my entire life. <laughs> and I would have said that at the time. However, the next morning was the actual like <laughs> worst hour of my life. <laughs> was on the pot, just, <laughs> just oh, letting it I, rip. <laughs> I was, it was ripping me open. That's for sure. I don't know what was happening. 
But he was dying. I, it was probably one of the worst sensations I remember when I've he ever experienced because I life. was we were playing something. We're playing Apex. Yeah, and I was on the call, I'm and like, he just disappeared. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, Brian, so, I gotta do something for so long. And he came back, and he was like out of breath and died. I'm like, <laughs> what just happened? Goodness, I was out of breath. <laughs> Have you seen the Impractical Jokers of Murray eating a ghost pepper? No. Yeah, so it was his punishment one time and he was supposed to take an acting class basically be really bad at it mm-hmm. right and so like there there was the acting coach was like a professional actor like they invited on as a guest right yeah and so like his job like one time was to act like a terminal patient like <laughs> losing their breath but trying to get their last words out <laughs> so they had him like eat like a quarter cup of cinnamon <laughs> <laughs> like, quarter cup. It was why, and he's just like <laughs> you remember thing everywhere. You remember like the cinnamon challenges? Yeah. Like people were actually dying because yeah. they were doing like a half a cup, yeah, like or more of cinnamon. And yeah, they literally get lodged in their throat and they can't breathe. I'm like, what? Because I remember back in high school when the cinnamon and saltine cracker challenge were just big things where people were just shoving, like. Right, ten saltine crackers to, to in their circle, mouth. At to once. circle back to the beginning, I remember Burris doing all of these things. <laughs> but anyway, sorry. Continue. Um, so anyway, so like that was funny. But anyway, it all led up to at the end, he was it was supposed to be like this really ro- like emotional scene, like with him crying and stuff. They're like, all right, so you're just gonna eat a ghost pepper <laughs> and then perform the scene, like, and he's supposed to talk, mm-hmm. right? Oh, no. Which is so hard after eating a pepper like that. Or at least so I've heard. <laughs> anyway, and and he looked at them and he was like, that's it? Because he had never heard of a ghost pepper before. Whoa. <laughs> and, th- and they were like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, okay. Whatever. And, they, were, and they like undid the mic. They're like, he doesn't, he doesn't know. Like he doesn't know what is in his hands, and so he just ate the whole thing oh. off oh, no. of it. Like he just, he just put the whole thing in his mouth and just ate it. it I mean, he just died. <laughs> and he, he quite literally and died. He, he's like crying, and he's like, guys, guys. <laughs> and there, and the the acting coach is like, come on, spit it out. <laughs> like, he was like, you gotta feel it, Murray. You gotta <laughs> feel it. It was. Oh insane <laughs> oh i kid you not i literally opened it so when, as it was happening i i opened up my fridge and whatever was in there i put in my mouth like it was just <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't care what it was i'm like whatever soothes, the pain so, something i will put whatever it ta- I'll, I'll do whatever it takes jeff i will literally do what <laughs> something, i will put it in my mouth and makes the pain something go away will, something will end this eventually <laughs> like i was drinking milk grape juice uh, lemon juice. I, I don't like. It could be. It, this could actively. Like I don't know. It might make like, it worse. Ma- make it be even worse. Who knows? But I, I just got to make this stop. It's, it's worth the shot at that point. So That's like, fair. So I was like taking yogurt in like a gallon thing, and I just like literally get out of the. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cottage cheese. I'm like, this has dairy. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. And so. <laughs> Yeah. And so because Nate learned his lesson, we're going to order the chicken from Joella's that's yeah. above the ghost pepper one on the list. So to be fair, <laughs> so I kind of gauged the heat today. So I got the hot and the hot was not. It was. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. So I'm, I'm assuming like the ghost pepper is probably as ghost pepper like extract or Supposedly it's probably from extremely diluted. The people at work, they said the ghost pepper is sign- a decent amount hotter than just the hot. If it's a. Yeah. Mm. But so. it's but it isn't as bad as a ghost pepper. Gotcha. Like just eating a ghost pepper. I, I, so, I, cause, uh, yeah. Which most things aren't. I don't. I don't think it would be most it, ghost not pepper flavored no, things I, are. Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. I don't think. I don't think you even know what you're saying. Like, oh, you know, it's probably not as much. And I, I guarantee oh, you, yeah. it's it's not <laughs> even in the same <laughs> ballpark stratosphere. Yeah. Like this, it's like it's it's as close as Santa was. To Earth from Mars before he hitchhiked <laughs> on Elong to, to Earth. Like, and if that that's didn't the, make sense, watch it, the last yeah, If that episode. doesn't make any sense to you whatsoever... You're then, disrespecting the canon. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're disrespecting the uh, the uh, Santa uh, myth. It's not even mythos. It's really, Santa's real. Sorry. Excuse, Santa's pardon me, canon. Santa. Santa's canon. And he, there's a, um, a multiverse. Of, well, the, Santa-verse. the Santaverse. The Santaverse. The so. Santaverse. So, yeah. Across the Santaverse. But, yeah. So, we'll try to... Uh, uh, 
so you know, I had two year, two and a half years of almost two and a half years since the last time it happened. I think it's time to <laughs> ruin myself again. I think run I'm it gonna, back, run it back for content. So one more we'll, time. The fact that you have to sign a waiver is a little concerning, but I, <laughs> I know we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll do it for content. We'll do it for you, and hopefully, um, it's not. Most I mean, of us if will if do it for you. If, if, yeah. if it, if, Jeff will watch. I us will do not it be for doing you. it. I yeah. I, I if it's anything relatively ghost close to what a ghost pepper is. It it'll probably be a short podcast. <laughs> <It'll> probably, <laughs> we so, might not make it the hour. We we may not make it. We may, we'll have to like just I, we'll have to get some ice cream or something. We'll just, lay out the so, ice cream and the milk and everything else. <laughs> and we're just I, drinking it, we're eating just it while we're dumping gallon jugs of milk over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> just Jeff's dumping just, it on Jeff. While Jeff's, Jeff's just, just like, sitting Jeff's here, just sitting there, like we're all dying, but Jeff's just in the back pouring milk down his head. <laughs> and not, didn't even. He's just enjoying nice his, and cool. <laughs> Jeff's just enjoying the. He's just talking for the podcast by himself yeah. while we're all dying. We're all dying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Make sure that we don't. Okay. Another thing. This is just for future self. For future us. This doesn't apply to you, listener. Let's, let's not. Oh, I, I mean, let's make sure that we wipe everything off our mouth before we oh, go before back we and talk. speak. True. Because if we get any remnants of that, I mean, we'll be it'll dealing with it'll be a lingering time. effect for each each upcoming podcast when we come back. We'll be like, true. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so that, that's something for future us. No. That makes sense. Are, are we gonna have spicy options for uh, for our nacho uh, platters? Our platters, sure. I guess we'll yeah. get platters. I don't see why not. Yeah. Okay. Can we yeah. put Doritos out there as a of choice? Of course. I, I think I think having a variety of chips is what's going to really. I mean, the fact that we're doing a nacho yeah. bar restaurant, but like that's the one thing that I dislike is like I don't have any freedom to choose what chips I get on my nachos. It's true. Like, what if I'm a you know a corn corn chip guy or I feel like I'm in shackles right I mean, now? It's like yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah, corp. <laughs> Corporate America is binding me <laughs> to their norms. Yeah. Their, we put, we put all their, the real, their culinary norms. We put all yeah. the really cool freedom. items, <laughs> like all the really cool nacho toppings, in like this roped off velvet rope area yeah. that you have to pay extra it's for. It's bougie. <laughs> VIP <laughs> nacho <laughs> yeah, area. You have to pay, oh, yeah, have, so you can, we have okay. a guy that stands there. And, oh, <laughs> it's, it's just Ty, Sean. It's, it's Sean or Tyler. They just stand <laughs> there <laughs> and let you in. <laughs> let you, that would actually be worth <laughs> it, That would too. be so cool. We can get you Tyler a like, job finally. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. We you need pay to get like Tyler two, a job. You pay like two extra dollars. You don't have to pay extra. You just, if you want the cool <laughs> stuff, you just, you just go. go. <laughs> you just go walk in there and they open it for you and let you in there. But They're, we could say, hey, make allow sure. Allow me, good sir. To tip, to tip the bouncer so they can get. <laughs> yeah, to tip the <laughs> bouncer. Tip the bouncer so we don't have to pay him. <laughs> so we don't have to pay him. He only gets paid two dollars an hour. <laughs> like you got to give him something. He works for tips. See, we can only we can only make groundbreaking uh, changes to the to the to the system one at a time. <laughs> we're not yeah, we're not gonna true. we're not gonna change like you know waiter waiter waitress norms. <laughs> yeah. How criminally we underpaid can't they that. are. We can't fix that all at once, you know. <laughs> but day we can make your nacho need. Yeah, <laughs> we can bring you all the nachos that you you could ever want. <laughs> and change, all the unlimited food. Changing That's the world it. one chip at a time. One chip at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's our little changes the world one chip at a time yeah. but it's ours yeah. but it's our chip yeah it's not your chip <laughs> but it could be for the low price of 13.99 <laughs> unlimited truly unlimited truly <laughs> i mean really if you think about it it's just stupid not to go in and dive in <laughs> like yeah why would you even drive through anyways like uh, like it's so dumb <laughs> <laughs> we're calling them out <laughs> we just berate them as they're going you, through the drive you literally <laughs> on the way out you can get a to-go container <laughs> that is the exact same thing no, that you get through I the drive through how upset Jeff is right now about this <laughs> just doesn't make any sense <laughs> He's like, just come in, dang it. Yeah. Just come in. Why Tyler you... needs the tips. <laughs> <laughs> Please help us pay him. <laughs> he needs the money. What if our drive? What if we do like valet? So like your drive through is like you come in and it like actually enters the building, like a portion of the building that's you drive I do drive like into that. the building. And, and I mean, then, it's a drive then, through. It's not a drive through. around. Exactly, exactly. So you actually <laughs> you drive through. driving through the building, and then we have that's somebody just somebody, somebody there watching as people right drive now. through. <laughs> that's like, just incredible. It's an actual drive through, and then you get out of your vehicle. It's and like you, a crew car wash. Exactly, and you come in a crew car wash. <laughs> 
It just pulls your car along through it. It pulls your car along through it. Then you actually get out of your vehicle, go in, make your nachos. Or we could valet. Or no, they come. Or no, 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 no. We, we, I I like the valet parking idea. That's where I originally was going with it. But now I'm like, hey, they actually get out of their vehicle, come inside the restaurant, make make their own. Because then we don't have to pay somebody to make it. Exactly. They can make it (laughs) themselves. And then they go back out the door, and they have some guy open the door for them, right? Tyler. Tyler. (laughs) And it's like a luxury. You know, you know, a luxury, a luxury experience. It's a luxury, luxury drive, luxury drive through. Yeah, like it, yeah. We just make it like the crew thing, so it'll pull you forward, it'll stop you, get out, yeah. then it pulls your car to the end of the building. You make your nachos no, and meet your car there. Meet your car there, and you get back drive, in. Yeah, and you drive home. away. It's an actual drive through. It's incredible. That's a great idea. Yeah, I like it. And then we can make it seem like you're actually, like, like I said, driving in the building. You know, right. Like, Drive through. Drive through. Drive through. Not drive hey, around. Corporate America. <laughs> <laughs> this is groundbreaking. This is actually. They just don't get it. <laughs> they, don't, they, just, they just don't understand. <laughs> now, if only they would take these innovative ideas and put it in the gaming industry. Blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> Blizzard had its own problems <laughs> to figure out. I guess, yeah. There's, there is the, uh, you know, misconduct. I won't go any <laughs> further elaboration we all know what kind of misconduct there was a whole lot of it and there's a whole yeah, lot, lot of it there was a lot of misconduct, misconduct. <laughs> doing this misconduct and not actually working on the pve experience of overwatch 2 now it's literally just overwatch 0.1 not i don't even give it one point it's 1. overwatch one with five instead of six <laughs> just let the misses conduct themselves <laughs> please <laughs> just please goodness oh <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so look forward to that next week. We'll be. Uh, we've came up with a lot of great ideas this we've episode. Come with, we've come up with a lot of great ideas. I like where episode. we went with this. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you, you if you enjoy if or if you would visit the if nacho you, palace. If you, if you want, would want a nacho pl- palace uh, at a location near you, just let us know if that's something yeah. that you're interested in. We could start franchising. And we could start. I still think we need to. Chain. We need to make it like regional. Maybe yeah. not just you know, just local, in but, southern Indiana. Yeah. yeah. But I think having exclusivity. The bottom half of Indiana. That's right. Southern that's Indiana. it. That's it. Nothing else. And we can bring it to Odin to finally have something that's n- new and unique. unique. <laughs> Take over the Papa Paul's Take place. over the... Dude, that's where we start. That's where we start. <laughs> that's where we start. <laughs> There's Which, no drive through <laughs> Oh, we can make it happen. You buy that abandoned property out by the... Uh, corner of the school and the interstate so it's Ooh, right on the yeah. interstate yeah, it's, it's right next to the school dude imagine how many oh, high school yeah, students get we out can of get school traffic oh, oh gosh. This, this is a great idea, idea. <laughs> See, I, I thought about this i'm like this is just for like why don't they have like, anything anything, there? anything there? honestly i thought about like like as, as i graduated high school i was like i should just buy like get a loan for a McDonald's and just put it right put it there. right there. I think it would do bank. Yeah. I really think it would do well. It would do very like, well. Like it might not you know go crazy and you know, like millionaire type of wealth, but it's, it's you'd be it, you'd be just fine. Yeah, you would be pr- pretty well off just to getting because high school students. Like I don't know. I think I mean I mean we'd go get food in town and come they, back. They do, open, do they do yeah. open quarter North Davies now? Like where you can go? And, I don't know. That I don't know. For like food? For food like, and stuff? For lunches? Like pe- for drivers can, can leave know. and get back. But we would, it. like after school, we would go into like the fish and carry and then come oh, back yeah. before practices for and sure. games and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Like people will do that with Subway. They can do it with fish and carry. Or people that are coming to games. Like imagine no, after exactly. a basketball after game. After basketball games and things. Like, I think th- Those I think, things pack house. I, I think we have a, a, a pretty good idea where we should put one of our you waffle hit bas- house. You hit the waffle. basketball game and put then the, you hit... Put a waffle house <laughs> there. You hit the basketball game and then you hit the nacho palace back to back. <laughs> you don't have to provide nacho. See, then we can cater nachos to the actual... To the basketball To game. the basketball uh, concessions. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, and then so they could get the nachos from the, us. You do cougar souvenir buckets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about our cougs, baby. But they're so, only accepted regionally. Yeah. You can't take them <laughs> to yeah. another nacho <laughs> palace. <laughs> only at that one. I think this is groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> I really think it is. All right, so if yeah, so we're there. If you're, if you're <laughs> we down with up a whole podcast and, with that, <laughs> and if you want to support us, one way you can do that is by. Liking, commenting, and subscribing to the Lost and Thoughts channel. Specifically commenting. Hey, specifically, please. Com- please comment. <laughs> we want to interact with you. We want to interact with please. you guys. And so that, uh, you know, and, and let us know how awful or how great our, uh, this idea our Nacho is. Palace idea is. Would you go to the Nacho Palace? Would you go to the Nacho yeah. Palace? Yes or no? 
So there will be a poll on the Spotify because I can do that. You also also say if you think thirteen ninety nine is a good price point, is that a, for, for unlimited a literally nachos? unlimited nachos? Like, yeah, quite literally. literally. We will not kick yeah. you out. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can by, stay as long and as by, you want. By opinion, do, 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 okay. So I, I don't mean like yes, I agree. I mean, do you think too low, too high? Right. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want an answer that says no. You're on the money. I want to see it. See, yeah. Opinions on too low, too high. And so we could also <laughs> do some certain food challenges to like where if you eat so many nachos within a certain time span, so we can actually get you market. get a t-shirt. We get a t-shirt or something, so we get you know like like Maddie Stone or like those other food like oh yeah the mukbangs. People who do mukbangs yeah. can come into our restaurant and, and try to do the we, the nacho challenge. We collaborate with every creator. That's, <laughs> see, that's mm, I think <laughs> that's it. That's it. I think that's we, a great I think idea. We figured it out. I think this is the end game of <laughs> the is, podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're in the end game now. We're in the end game. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's podcast and. Uh, yeah, so uh, we want to thank everyone for coming coming out and, and supporting us. And uh, we love all you guys. And You're peace out. the best. Goodbye. Goodbye.